For Jamel Dunes hole 6, you are going to be using a driver that gives you the most distance and the most topspin. Here I'm using an APOC 6. If you do not have a 6, use your Thor 6 if you have it, or your Extra Mile 8. If you do not have those drivers, I suggest you use a Power 3 ball. You're going to use full topspin, full right spin, aim down the middle, use full overpower, and you will adjust or over adjust your shot with a plus 10% over adjustment. If you have tailwind, you will use full overpower as well. The further down you get, the better off you are on your second shot. For the second shot, you're going to play at a plus 30% elevation on the rough bump if you want to use the rough bump. You do not have to use the rough bump. If you want to just play on the fairway itself, it's going to play around a plus 40% elevation. We play the same elevations in tournament and in tour play it seems to be working just the same. So plus 30% on the rough bump and plus 40 on the fairway. Again, for our drive, it's going to be a plus 10% over adjustment, full top spin, full right spin, aim down the middle, adjust your shot with a plus 10% over adjustment, and then do full overpower. For the second shot again, if you use the rough bump, it's going to play at a plus 30%. And if you want to bounce it onto the fairway into the hole, it's going to play at a plus 40% elevation. One thing I have noticed on this hole is that if you are near max distance of your club and you are in a headwind, use max numbers even though you are not in max distance. So if you are just where the numbers stop forming, use max numbers anyway. And one last time for the drive, you are going to use a plus 10% over adjustment on your drive, full top spin, full right spin, aim down the middle, adjust your shot, and then use full overpower. Now in some headwind cases you're not going to get down the fairway in, uh, far enough to do the rough bump or the bounce over. So here you're going to do, you can do the hook shot. Here I could have just done a curl shot and would have been just fine but I wanted to try the hook. So I did a little bit of backspin, full right spin, uh, aimed, or did it about a 30% over adjustment but I think it plays about a 20% over adjustment. So I adjusted my shot with a 30%, it should probably be around 20 and then I counted 25 rings. The only thing that I did wrong here was I curled it too much. So do full curl and then back off about 25%. So you only want to use about 75% curl when you do this shot. So again, it is a 25 ring adjustment, but this shot actually worked out just fine because it left for an easy end bringer chip. So again, you're going to adjust your shot for the wind and then count 25 rings. Do a little bit of backspin with full right spin and you should be just fine. 
So remember guys, hit perfect and happy golfing.